Cunard has always placed great importance on choosing the right names for its ships. After careful consideration and countless visits to the archive, one compelling, captivating individual stood out from all the rest, Queen Anne. Queen Anne is an exciting, fascinating, groundbreaking queen, and yet she's been undervalued by history. People dismiss her, they ignore her, they leave her out of the history of queens. Yet she did so much in her reign. She pulled the country into a new century. She fostered arts, innovation, sciences. She made so many changes within constitutional, political monarchy, and really created monarchy and London and the country as we know it today. And now with this wonderful new ship to celebrate her, really Anne has her tribute. Despite battling chronic illness and grief, she was a woman who was really determined to bring back queenship, which had been much undermined by her sister, Queen Mary, who had given up pretty much all power to her husband, William. Anne wanted to be like Elizabeth I, to rule on her own. She even borrowed Elizabeth I's motto, Semper Iadem, always the same. She modelled herself on Gloriana and really brought queenship into the modern age, the Enlightenment age. This was now a queen for the 18th century and one who made possible Victoria and Elizabeth II. Queen Anne was a great patron of the arts, and the arts flourished in her reign. Great poetry, drama, literature, music, opera, Van Berg, Susanna Sontlever, and she actually directly patronised Purcell, who wrote the music for her wedding, Handel, she gave him a pension, and she also knighted Sir Isaac Newton, the great mathematician, and he depicted her as Athena, the goddess of learning. Anne fostered the time of great artistic experimentation, of great architecture. Fifty new churches were commissioned. This was a time of Queen Anne style, a watchword for beauty and architecture. She personally loved beauty and design. The gardens at Kensington Palace, she had them laid out to her specific design and they became a sanctuary, a place where she could retire after the hustle and bustle of ruling. A great leader and politician, Anne put in place the idea of constitutional monarchy, that the monarch should remain above politics, walk a line between the political parties. In her reign, England, Wales and Scotland were united and Great Britain was born. Forward thinking, progressive, she advocated mercy to those who opposed her and offered compassion to the suffering. Queen Anne loved the arts graceful architecture, design, entertainment, everything that Cunard's Queen Anne has to offer. She would have loved to travel on her new namesake. Cunard's fleet now celebrates the names of each Queen Regnant over the last millennium, Mary, Elizabeth, Anne and Victoria. Cunard's ship Queen Anne will be a glorious addition to the fleet. May God bless her and all who sail in her.